What's going on, family? Thanks for coming out. Today we're going to be talking about vagina beer. Let's get to it. Come in. You got and I'll show you everything you need to know. Welcome to Claytime in Basement Podcast Show, a show like no other. Wild over the top opinions from an angry, cigar smoking, living in the basement of a housey Paison, road comic father who is technically married and understandably frustrated. Here he is, Clay Miles. Oh, what's going on, family? How y'all doing? All right, thank you guys for coming out. Before I get started, I want to thank you guys for the support. People have been sending in money, smart-ass comments. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'll take it all. It doesn't matter. I love it. I love it all. Like I said, you guys can find me. Playtime in the basement. What's up, Michelle? How you doing? You guys can find me on uh, Twitter um, at Clay T Basement all over the place. Also, you can just find me at Clay Miles, you know, at Clay Miles on Twitter. But uh, I wanted to tell people, this thing now ha is now on Spotify, it's on iHeartRadio, uh, it's everywhere you can find any kind of podcast. We are blowing up. We are all over the internet. I don't know about the country, but, but fuck it, if you in like Budapest, you know about me. I don't know what it is about me, but you love me and I love you too. Bangladesh, you the shit. But anyway, let's get, all right, let's get to it. Let me talk about my boys here real quick. Damaged Goods, the guys who got me started in all this. Please check out their website. I'll tell you their website in a minute. This is the website right here, family, with all the whole damaged goods people. This is the network right here. You got damaged goods, daddy issues, clay time in the basement, baked and wait, beta testing, and needless to say, what's up, Carol? What's up? What's going on, family? Dave May, John Coulter, what the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? How y'all doing? Thank you guys for coming out. I appreciate it. Of course, I got to go ahead and sell my merch. Merch, 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 merch. You can buy all my stuff here. At uh, www.cafepress.com forward slash Clay Time in the Basement. But I got a new one for you. Boom! Look at that! Boom! Stand up comic Clay Miles. That's outlaw gear right there. That's outlaw. That's outlaw gear. Lester Harris, what's up, baby? What's up? Oh my God. My family's coming out. This is fam. You guys understand? That's, that's little kid shit right there. That's little kid, Jeffrey Ayers. Stop the goddamn hammering. Stop the goddamn, stop the god. Stop the hammering. Stop the hammering out there. Who's got a hammer? Where is it? I don't know. It's on a different Where's the hammer? It's on a different is it on? Start the goddamn hammer. But anyway, you guys can, uh, if you want to go ahead and buy my shirt, my outlaw gear, I'll get another sh uh, picture so you can actually see zoomed in on how that looks. That's cafepress.com forward slash stand up comic Clay Miles. All one word. What's up, Les? Les the Harris is in the house. That's my boy. You guys don't understand. That's the man who I wanted to be when I was growing up. You don't understand. As a young black running back in Greenwich, Connecticut. That was the man, okay? He grabbed the ball, and he ran like this, so I grabbed the ball, and I ran like this. That's Lester Harris. We, we, got, we don't, You don't even understand who we got here. Royalty. Football royalty. You guys don't understand. Dave May. But I'm alive, y'all. I'm live. Am I live? Am I I'm live, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm live. I'm live. I'm live. I'm live. I'm live, y'all. Fucking Chucky. <laughs> I love how you motherfuckers are throwing out requests. <laughs> you know what, Clay? Just get to the funny shit. Fuck your life, motherfucker. <laughs> we ready for the funny shit. But we talked about the website. I got to remind you guys about my show on the 25th. 
Jeffrey Ayer, it's my boy. When I was a kid, he's coming out. He already bought tickets for him and his wife. We gonna drink. We gonna get stupid on the 25th. It's the 25th, motherfucker, the 25th. Bring that shit out. Come on out to the show. God damn it. Come on out to the show. Because, I mean, I'm just saying. I'm live, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm live. I'm live. See me live, motherfucker. See me live on the 25th. Bring your ass. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh. Thanks, Les. I appreciate it, baby. Les says the, the hammering was good. <laughs> Oh, you guys don't understand who's here. All right, let's. What's going on with the whiteboard? What's up with the whiteboard? Let's see what's up. What's up with the whiteboard? Whiteboard. I thought my life went to shit. Then I realized, no, that smell is just a used diaper. Kill me. Oh, Xavier. Yes. <laughs> Yes, Xavier. Xavier Montez is going to be on the show. Very, very funny young comic. Very funny. He's going to be on the show doing his thing, making fun of the old man. And, of course, and I'm going to clean it up at the end. Come on out, baby. Come on out to the show. We got to say it again. Bam! Well, that ain't the damn show. That's the show, damn it. God, I just, I fucked that up. I don't, God damn it. Stop the hammering. Stop the hammering out there. Who's got a hammer? Where is it? Stop the goddamn hammering! What's going on, people? I, you don't understand. I am hyped this week. I'm sorry. You know what? I had to put up with this bullshit all week. I had to put up with this shit. You don't. You don't even know. You don't even. You don't even fucking know. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I also gotta uh, say another thing here. This family is not a real cigar, okay? I literally had somebody write me, and a motherfucker, if you want, I want you to say something, because I'm talking about your ass. This motherfucker wrote me, hey, Clay, your shit is very, very funny, but honestly, bro, uh, there's like a baby bed over there, and you're smoking a cigar. What the f- It's fake, motherfucker! Do you really, truly think that I have the money to fucking just smoke real shit inside? You know how much that shit would cost me? The fuck is wrong with y'all? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Do you really think? Look at this shit. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> what is going on today? I don't understand. I mean, come on, people. Let's get with it. Let's get with it. Stop the hammering. Stop the hammering out there. Who's got a hammer? Where is it? I don't know. It's on a different Where's the hammer? It's on a different is it on the... Go up... Where's the goddamn hammer? Oh, family. I'm hyped. I'm sorry. I'm hyped. I'm hyped today. I don't know what to tell you. We're going to get to the shit in a minute. I got some shit. Got to get some shit off my chest. You ever just go to work and you just go, I hate you all. I mean, you. I mean, how many times you want to say that shit? I'm going to let y'all know right now. Don't let me win shit. Don't, don't let me become famous. Don't do not give. I am all the wrong motherfucker who you wanted your job who just realized he won a million dollars. <laughs> What's wrong, Clay? What's wrong? What's wrong is fuck all of y'all. And I will pull my pants down and smack my ass. Kiss. My entire black ass. I am sorry. I am sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm sorry. I know what you guys are thinking. Is this, is this, you know, recorded? Is this, I, I'm just letting y'all know. No! I'm live, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm live. I'm live. I'm live. I'm hype. I'm hype. I'm hype today. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I will get to the shit in a minute. Who the fuck is calling me? A scam. It's a scam. What the fuck are you calling me? God. Don't call me with no goddamn scams today. I don't need no scams. No scams. Damn it. Just, just won't. Stop the hammering. Stop the hammering out there. Who's got a hammer? We're going to get to your shit. We're going to get to it. I'm sorry. What was you motherfuckers writing? <laughs> You motherfucker just keep writing shit. I, I'm rolling today. I'm rolling. I'm sorry. I, I'm going to make you a part of the show. I'm going to make y'all a part of the show. <laughs> Chase, what's up? How you doing, baby? God damn, y'all just came in. I just started rolling. 
Too many graphics. <laughs> oh, I'm rolling. I'm sorry. Lester, I'm here for you, baby. I'm here for you. I'm here for you. That's what I do. I'm here for y'all. I know you all been through a fucked up time and everybody goes through some shit. Guess what? Come here and laugh at my life and then let me just blah and vent and just get the shit out. See, we helping each other out because what the fuck? Emma Smith just lost his shit. <laughs> you know what? Dave, man, let me tell you something. I am literally the opposite of, of Emma Smith. I might look a little bit like him, but I'm, I'm his evil twin brother that got none of the talent. <laughs> and is in a fucking basement and broke as fuck. <laughs> yes, indeed. Go outside and smoke a real cigar. I'm going to smoke a real one after this one. Believe me. Believe me. I am. Fuck. I'm sorry. I am hyped. I am hyped. Okay, let's get to the shit. Fuck, let's get to the shit. All right. The first thing, first thing up. Let's set you up. You're hot, you're hot. Stay hot, baby. Stay hot. Go outside. Yeah, yes, indeed. <laughs> Better than Emmett. Bullshit. <laughs> I thought I was a comedian. This is bullshit. I love Lester. God damn, I love Lester. Damn. Hey, Les, I ain't gonna be able to come home. I ain't gonna be able to come home this weekend. I know everybody's having the thing. I can't come. I can't come. And my heart is broken. Now, you guys gotta have another one, man. I wanna come out. I wanna come hang out with my family. Hold on. What's Dave saying? Just can't believe someone said, look, his, his twin. Ah, <laughs> uh, I know. I don't look nothing like him. I don't look nothing like him. I don't care what any of y'all say. Fuck y'all. Some A white woman at work told me this. And she was so nervous. She was like, I just want to tell you. Um, have you ever heard? Um, oh, I'm going to say it. Uh, I know I shouldn't, Mary, but I'm going to. Do you look like Emmett Smith? And I'm like, wow, because I am, bitch. Boo! <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. The fuck is wrong with you? I, I literally did that. <laughs> I, and I and I had to learn that's the number one rule of being a black man. You're not allowed to ever say boo to a white person because because you'll you'll fucking you're allowed to get shot. I'm just letting y'all know. That, uh, Your Honor, this motherfucker said boo, and I didn't know what. So yes, of course I put. I spelt my name in his chest. Well, shit, look how big he is. Well, uh, case dismissed. <laughs> you know what's sad? That's funny, but guess what? That shit is real. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh, where did the white what did the white woman look like? I don't know. <laughs> what did she look like? <laughs> her skin was white. It was, I could, every time I looked at her, how do you, how did they do that back, back in uh was it uh uh god damn it, the color purple or some shit like that? Some slavery shit. I don't know. Fuck it. I don't, I don't know. The skin was so white, I couldn't even look at it. It just reflected the sun, and and it, and it messed with my eyeballs. And it, I don't know what how that, I don't know. I, check her out; she was old. Uh, all right, this first one. Speaking of football, what the fuck? Somebody, somebody can send me some money. Thank you. Yeah, we only got ten minutes in. The motherfucker is sending money. Cool. <laughs> I am not putting my hand up, but just so you guys know, if you want to say, put some money in the motherfucker, the tip jar is down in the tip, in, in, in the link. I'll take you to PayPal if you want to drop a couple dollars. I appreciate it. Thank you. But somebody already did not appreciate it. Somebody dropped a hundred dollars in there one time. I was like, I am going drinking. No, I didn't, I didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, okay. First one we're going to get to today is, uh, I know you're like, does he have anything to talk about? Yes, I got shit to talk about. This is Arizona. Okay, now Arizona uh, Cardinals, they now have the, uh, this, this. Uh, I know you guys always seen these burger challenges. Well, Arizona has one. The Arizona Cardinals are unveiling a seven pound gridiron burger challenge. And we're warning you, this is not for the faint of heart. The team shared new food items on the menu for the 2018 season. And the show stealer is the massive burger, which includes five third pound burger patties, five hot dogs, 
five bratwurst, 20 slices of American cheese, eight pieces of bacon, eight chicken tenders, 12 ounces of fries topped off with pickles, lettuce, sauce, and a bun. And a fucking doctor! Okay, and fuck the doctor. I just need somewhere to lay down and die. After eating all that shit? Are you kidding? Let me explain to you something. If you can, if you can, go eat that. And you live, okay? And you live. You have a fucking problem, okay? So honestly, if you die, that's the actual correct thing to happen to you after... Look at that shit. Look at all that shit. After eating all that shit. Matter of fact, look, I'm going to put myself in the middle of the shit. Oh, my God. Oh, are you out of your mind? <laughs> Look at all that shit. 20 ch slices of cheese. First, you're going to be constipated. You got all that fucking burgers, that meat inside your body. You're going to be bloated like a motherfucker. I mean, up to your... Ch are you kidding me? I'm just letting y'all know. Don't go try this, family. And if you do try it, this is a week's worth of eating. Okay, I'm just letting y'all know right now. That's a week's worth. Yes, Jace. Yeah. Heart attack. Yes. <laughs> Jace says, heart attack on deck. Michelle writes, my asshole would explode. <laughs> If your stomach didn't first explode, yes, your asshole would explode. Was Oh, yeah, Dave says, holy shit, that weighs more than me. Honestly, Dave, I think it does. What the fuck? I saw this, and I was like, I, I literally, my cholesterol went up just watching this. All of y'all cholesterol went up. We're all going to die together. Just by the, the grease, just, just by the thought of the grease, you're, we're all done. So, so meaty. Oh, that's what she said. I hate that fucking truth. I hate people do that. Oh, that's what she said. So meaty. Let's finish this up. Let's see if there's anything else in here. The meal will cost you $75, but if you finish it in under an hour, it could pay off. $75, and you have an hour to do it. Are you fucking, yeah, death by meat, yeah. That's what he said. <laughs> There's a new one for you, everybody. That's what he said. Yeah, there you go. Cost of the burger, $75. Okay. Meet me outside. How about that? <laughs> everybody. <laughs> Everybody's got a meat joke. Okay, come on. Come on with him. Let's go. Meet me outside. I like that one the best so far. So meaty. That's pretty good. I like it. Come on. Come on with it. <laughs> okay. God damn it. I hate when people write like a fuck. Look, I'm like 50 years old. Yeah, if what I have not died by anything I've eaten by now, I'm doing, I'm doing well. No, I mean, I agree. I agree with that. But if you're 50 years old, you ain't going to make it to 51. Okay, I'm letting you know. If you 50 and 38 days, you ain't going to make it to 39. Is all I'm, <clears throat> is all I'm saying. It ain't going to happen. Okay? If you, if you eat this burger, family, you're, you're going to die in an ugly way. What I mean by that, like Elvis died in an ugly way. On the toilet? I mean, come on. Man, I'm talking about dying where you blow your ass out like in the car and you blow your heart through your asshole. And they just go, we've never seen anything like this before. Well, his whole system went to shit. He literally clogged it up. Oh, I am stupid. But we're going to keep going. I like that one. Good jokes. I like that. Good job. Good job, family. I got the meat sweats. I got the meat sweats. <laughs> oh, hey, somebody say that's what she said, because that would be perfect for it. Nice, Jace. You're always on there, Jace. You're always doing well. Good job. Oh, all right. Why is there no picture of what? Of the, of the monstrosity. Yeah, I know, right? I, I literally tried to find it. And I couldn't, I didn't, as a matter of fact, hold on a second. Arizona Let's Cardinal go ahead and see, let's see at the end of this thing. Maybe they go ahead and show it. 
The team is offering challenge survivors an Arizona Cardinals jersey and a photo. So you get the okay. So you get a photo of you being in the casket with the jersey on, because like I said, you ain't gonna make it. You ain't gonna make it to the next day, family. It ain't gonna fucking happen. How'd he die? He shit himself to death. Damn right. Just like I did last week. Two hours shit because I had too much of the fucking MCT and nobody told me that taking MCTs like that make you shit. And just, I mean, at work too. I thought it was my last day, fam. Oh, we already talked about that. But God damn it, I had to bring it up again because my blew my ass out and I had to get in my car. But I didn't shit myself. I, I almost did. <laughs> All right, this next one, I don't think is fair. Honestly, I don't think it's fair. Okay, this lovely young lady um, had tattoos, and she won um, a beauty contest. And then they told her after she won, she needed to get rid of it. <clears throat> Hold on. Order the jersey after you will need you will need a different size. <laughs> yeah, yeah, after you eat it, you're going to need a different size. I agree. That's That's a good one. I like that. <laughs> Mr. Fowler, thank you, baby. I appreciate it. That was great. All right. <clears throat> so this lovely young lady actually uh, had tattoos, and she won a beauty contest. And then after she won, they decided, hey, you, you need to get rid of those tattoos. I think that's fucked up. Cover up those tattoos if you want to keep the crown. A teen winner of Miss Phelan says that she was asked to hide her ink. Instead of giving in, though, she gave up her title. And now she and her mom are opening up about the tattoo controversy. Tonight, Kate Cummins' Tina Patel is live in Ontario with reaction from both sides. Tina? Why is it every woman on here? I'd fuck them. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, ladies. I'm sorry. <clears throat> all of them. Not, not, I mean, all of them. Besides the teen, of course. Besides the teen! Shut up! Besides the teen, okay? I didn't, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't specify, besides the teen, okay, but she's hot, but she was hot when I was a child, when I was a teen, fuck y'all. Well, this young woman admits that she didn't have any visible tattoos when she was crowned, but she says she didn't know it was against the rules, and she doesn't understand why it should be. Sierra Liddy says she was excited when she was crowned Miss Phelan last fall, but she soon realized her time. Holy shit, Dave, this is your town? Really? Is this really your town, Dave? Shit, that might be your daughter. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow, okay, all right. And what you said? It's, it's in Canada. Lord, you need glasses. <laughs> Damn it, Carol. Yes, I need glasses. Damn it. Fuck. <laughs> With the Chamber of Commerce was mainly ceremonial. Mostly we did ribbon cuttings, and then we did an Easter thing up at Serrano High School. But that was about it. Which is why Sierra wasn't really thinking about her position when she decided... Can I ask a question? Why they got this, this girl up here half naked and she's a teenager? This is bullshit. You got horny old men... Just sitting here looking at this girl. Yeah, it's in California. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's got to be California. Because, I mean, look, this is like almost close to free love, baby. Free love. I mean, look at this. My, you got a teen out here just about naked and shit. Got old fucking men fucking watching this shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Kate Cal is a California TV station. Oh, okay. Dave is on it. Hold on, let, let me let Dave watch this because because this she is gets his home tattoos town. Tattoos on her 18th birthday. I did it mostly for myself. I all my tattoos have very special meanings to me. But soon after, Sierra says the chamber asked her to sign a Miss Feelin contract that read in part: body piercings shall not be seen or worn during appearances. Tattoos shall also remain concealed at all times in sash and crown. Sierra says she tried to discuss the ink issue with the chamber officials, but ultimately decided to give up the crown. I don't feel like I should have to cover up my tattoos because they are so normal now. They're a part of the quote unquote norm. Her mom, Lisa, agrees. Even though she doesn't love all of her daughter's tattoos, she says they don't change who Sierra is. Hold on, let me, let me, and this is my thing about it. Number one, you gave her the crown. Okay, how the fuck 
do you crown somebody and then say, you know what, you got to cut. I mean, literally, that's like a black woman winning and going, yeah, we get, can you do us a favor? Can you, can you, can you dial down on that black? What? Can you just lighten it up is what we're saying. Lighten that shit up. What the? No, I can't. I mean, I, I, that's, this is how I won. That's, that's how you won, but that's not how we want you to be. All right, Carol, what are you saying? We got to get you out of the basement. <laughs> and in a storefront studio. <laughs> I'm just saying, damn it. I'm just saying, if, if, if you gave her the crown and you like, man, it's, then write the rule next year and then, and then enforce it next year. Don't enforce that shit this this year. She already won the fucking crown. She won it with the tattoos, you motherfucker. The fact that they were telling me that my daughter wasn't wholesome, uh, a wholesome representative of the community because she had a tattoo, and that didn't change anything from before she had the tattoo. What made her less wholesome because she has a tattoo now? Bam. We reached out to the Chamber of Commerce who released a statement saying they have no issues with their Miss Feeling representatives having tattoos other than asking that they must be covered during official chamber events. Oh, fuck you. you fuck, why? I mean, we got to stop. This, this whole world's becoming pussyfied. I'm just being honest with y'all. I'm sorry. The whole world's becoming pussyfied. Pussyfied. Sorry. I can't even watch it anymore. Oh, this next one. This next one is the shit. All right. Call your friends up. I don't know if anybody here knows Alex Jones. <laughs> but he got thrown off the internet. This, this, <laughs> that's bullshit. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and, and yeah, I know Dave. I, I, I agree. We're not talking about Alex Jones right now. He's talking about, you know, the, the girls. That's bullshit. That, that's the left of you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, oh my goodness. So, uh, Alex Jones got thrown off the internet. He got, he got thrown off of Facebook. He got thrown off of, tw I think Twitter, you name it. Um, YouTube, everything just off. He even listen to this family. I don't even know how this is possible. He got kicked off of you porn. Now, all you guys here are going to go, huh? What's you porn? I have no idea. Bullshit. Okay. You know I know about it. I'm in a goddamn basement. It's free porn. Free porn. <laughs> well, he got thrown off of that site. Even you porn bans InfoWars Alex Jones claiming website is no place for hate. Okay, okay. I'm sorry about the robot voice, but this is the only one I could find. I am sorry. There goes my Sunday wank. <laughs> hey, Tommy, you're not banned. You're not banned. You're, you're, you're a clay timer. They expect us. We run that site. I don't know. I mean, we're the, we're the ones keeping you porn up. So I, I mean, everybody here, I mean, come on, you, you're, you, you know the site now. Alex Jones has been dealt a final ignominy after you pour and banned him from its adult movie platform. Facebook, YouTube and Spotify pulled the plug on the far right right host of Infowars who often spews hatred against Muslims, immigrants and transgender people. Okay, hold on a sec. Jace had the nerve to say there's porn that is free? Bullshit! Okay, I'm not the only one who knows about this. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, I'm the only one jerking off in, in, in the whole fucking world. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's just me. Yeah, Pornhub. There's, now here it comes. Now we're gonna, now it's all gonna come out. Pornhub. I'm more of a Pornhub guy. Yeah, dude, uh, what, are there spicy, spicy big, big, big butt? Spicy big butt. Yeah. Bam! Man, we need to have a, uh, you know, write, everybody write your favorite porn site <laughs> that you use to relieve yourself when you're in the basement. <laughs> but now, I mean, Alex, I don't, I've, I've never seen Alex Jones on you porn, but I guess he was a big fucking, uh, uh <laughs> I guess he was a big fucking porn actor. Yelling his right wing hate while he was giving it to some girl. <laughs> that's the 
That's right. X, X videos. That's right. X, oh my God. Yes. I love that one. That one's awesome. That one is fucking awesome. That got, that got it all. That literally got it all. You can just, you could just use that one and be good for like months. I'm just saying. Wait, let me get into, let me get my pen and paper. <laughs> This is what we do here at Clay Time. We help out the masses. People need a way to, you know what? You not only want to go ahead and listen to me, you need other ways to just let it out. <laughs> I know them all. I'll send you all the sites. I'm just saying. <laughs> I am there for you. Okay, now let's finish. Let's finish with Alex. <laughs> Wanting to be left out, you porn removed all content of Alex Jones from its website despite there being no porn of the U.S. shock jock. You porn also removed any spoof Alex Jones content and banned him from hosting content on the website. Vice. Uh, f fuck! You can host shit on the website? I want to host shit on the website. Let's put Clay Time in the basement on you porn. Now nah, I'd go famous and I'd be famous in a fucking minute. Hold on! Whoa! 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 Put that dick down. I got some shit to talk to you about. Just give me five minutes. <laughs> oh, or just have me at the end of the videos. I mean, my, my, I know he's bad, but my point is, can he at least look at the you porn? Does he, you know, get naked and grease, grease up and get ready? And right as he goes ahead to go ahead and he has it on, they're like, a picture comes up, ah, Alex Jones. Put the dick down. Put the dick down, Alex. Put the guy. Put the goddamn dick down. Put the dick down, Alex. Stop the hammering. Stop the hammering out there. Who's got a hammer? Where is it? I don't know. It's on a different Where's the hammer? It's on a different is it on the? Alex, stop the goddamn hammering. Put the dick down. We'll say you make it lucky with a porn star. <laughs> I don't think that's lucky. Uh, <laughs> you ever beat off and afterwards you're looking at the screen like that girl. It, it, she was the hottest person ever. And then all of a sudden when you're done, you look at the screen like she really needs to stop doing this. <laughs> all of a sudden your morals come back. She needs to. She just needs to stop. I mean, she's better than this. <laughs> You never say that shit about the guy. You're like, look at this, look at this motherfucker. Fuck him. Porn time in the basement. <laughs> oh, that shit woke you fuckers up. I should have put that last. <laughs> now I'm limp. Thanks, Clay. <laughs> You're not supposed to be hard watching Clay time. <laughs> Oh, family, I love you guys too much. <laughs> no, Clay. Here's Carol. God damn it, Clay. Would you stop it? I love Carol. <laughs> oh, I love Carol. All right. This next one, here we go. She needs to find Jesus. <laughs> Is that the one you say afterwards when you're done? You just look at the camera. Or look, look, not, not the camera, because you ain't, you ain't filmed. You ain't getting filmed. You, you actually watching the film. After you're done, you sit there and going, she needs to find Jesus. Yeah, <laughs> she was the hottest thing ever. And then right when you were done, oh, she just needs to find Jesus. <laughs> we are so judgmental. And it's so funny that we don't even remember, like, two seconds before that. Well, all of a sudden, we're high and mighty again. Oh, God, who... Who raised her? It's like, what? How are you better than her? I do the shit. I'm wrong. I do the shit. I am wrong. I am wrong. And I do the shit. I'm just saying. And I feel horrible when I do the shit. I, I'm, an, I'm, an, I'm, I'm, I'm an asshole. That, you know, and y'all, y'all know that. All right. This next one, you're going to believe this. You're not going to believe this. I can never, neither to confirm or deny Chase. <laughs> I can neither confirm or deny. Uh, now, you know how we have Undercover? You heard the movie Undercover Brother, and you know people go undercover a lot, you know what I mean, to, to find the bad guy, they go undercover. Well, now we actually have Undercover fucking cows, 
okay? You know your life is for shit when you get busted by fucking cows. Bad boys, bad boys, we're gonna milk you. What you gonna do when these <laughs> when these hoops come for you? <laughs> All right, hold on. All right, turning right on the Sipes southbound. Uh, okay, Sipes Avenue. Oh, single there goes four. the guy. He hit the thing. Single four. Sipes and Celery bail out. Now he's gonna go run. Okay, driver's bailing. Still got a passenger in the vehicle. Five. South and east of you. Um, actually, the large group of cows is following her <laughs> for a good visual. Get him, um, cows! They may attack her. We're on it. Well, it's Look it's at the I'm cow! A flashlight. You can tell me where to go from here. Keep going southeast. The cows uh, are on that ass. The field now. Um, if you see the large group of cows, they're they're literally following her <laughs> and uh, chasing her. Yeah, I'm risking her side. All right, Larry, we got her lit up. Let the cows take care of it. Hey, Larry Sanford. If you want to all to go east on Celery, there's a driveway that cuts to the south. There it might help. Get her, cows. How fucking cool is that? Undercover cows. I I live in Montana. <laughs> so you know what I'm talking about, Michelle. Now, this is new to all of us that there's undercover cows out there. But holy shit. Yeah, I've seen that in, um, it was a female. Yeah, there was a female and they were chasing her. Undercover cat. Do you see that shit? You know, I mean, this is my, I mean, you know you were meant to be captured when when the Lord is is up there with cows and he with with a, a joystick moving the cows to go get your ass oh no fuck you go ahead get him cows I mean what the fuck yeah that's crazy are you kidding me family you know how fucked you I mean I'm sorry how do you live after that you know what I'm saying I mean how do you live after you know that even cows don't don't like you. No, they moved in on her. I knew it. I knew it. I wasn't going to say that. <laughs> I was waiting. I was waiting to see. I should have known my Mike, Mike Sykes was going to go ahead and give it to me. I was waiting. I was waiting for it, for somebody to do it. And it was Mike, of course. <laughs> they moved in on her. I was waiting. Look at that. Now, listen. Wait a minute. Listen. Jay says, that's some bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> it's cow shit. Okay? Yes, and I got attacked by a motherfucking rooster. Damn. Roosters are fucking evil. Well, shit. I, you've got a better story than me. Fuck, I wish you could go live right now so I could find out about this fucking rooster. Jesus Christ. So animals do attack, huh? They do attack. What the fuck? Okay, this is why I stay in the fucking city. I'm not gonna, you, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. This is why the fuck I stay in the city. It was a group effort. Yeah, yeah, it's fucking marine fucking cows. Fucking Navy SEAL cows. What the fuck? Cow SWAT. SWAT cow. I don't know what the fuck. <clears throat> yes, they are. <laughs> SWAT cows. Uh yeah, I'm I'm paying attention to baby goats. What? I'm paying attention to the to baby goats. Really? You have goat baby goats at the house right now? I wouldn't tell these guys that because these guys will fuck anything. You see they they watch you porn and all that shit. What the fuck was that, huh? <laughs> Like, I threw you guys underneath the bus. What the fuck? They, what is going on with them? I mean, they watch that shit. All right. And it stuck, and it stuck. Oh, it stuck up on, oh, it stuck up, it stuck, stuck on you. I can't get my lips together. All right. This next one is, uh, we got any mic? Oh, oh, shit. Hey, I'm not an ISIS motherfucker. <laughs> Uh, I had to tell everyone, well, I had to tell it every time I've seen a rooster, 
Listen, I will fuck, fucking cook your bed. <laughs> you gotta yell at a rooster every time you see him. Really, Michelle? Just so you can go ahead. And, is this is this you being forceful so so they know who who the the alpha is? The rooster knows. Did you hear about the cows chasing the perp? Yeah, I heard about it. <laughs> okay, Jace. Did you hear about the cow? Did you hear about the one about the cows chasing the perp? Yeah, I heard about it. <laughs> That's why they call them cocks. Yeah, because cause they think they're the shit. I always wondered that. Mark Marin does a bit about that. And, and I went to see the set it. I went, yeah, that is true. Maybe that's why they call him cocky. That's where cocky comes from. That's what, that's a Mark Marin bit. Chickens, chickens too. Shit. I ain't fucking around. You guys are making me want to just stay home. They ain't going outside. These, you know these fucking, you know these fucking squirrels around here talk shit about me. Look, that's that motherfucker down in the basement. He lives there. It's his fucking house. I, 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 I go, I go on the fence and I can look through the the window and I see him yelling at his computer all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this next one. I don't know if we have any Canada people here. My Canada people, this is for you. I just play it. Now this is a cool way of getting to your car. This man in eastern Canada built a massive snow tunnel from his front door to his car after a major snowstorm hit the area. Marcel Landry said he had no intention of building the tunnel and he was actually just trying to find his car after the storm dumped 35 inches of snow on his driveway. And what's going on in here? We're in a tunnel of snow. Well... Yesterday during the storm, I figured I'd have to shovel some, some out eventually. So instead of shoveling the whole thing out and getting the wind to fill it back in, I just started digging in and in and in and in, following the, the path. And eventually I... Okay, this is a guy who has not found uh, you porn. Okay, you, you don't... You, where do you get the effort? That is a well-constructed tunnel. Okay, we need this guy. Okay, we need to bring him over to America so uh, he can dig tunnels for the next war that we're having. Are you kidding me? And let me ask you a question. You're digging a tunnel to get to your fucking car to go fucking where? I'm asking you. Because if the snow was that fucking high, even if you got to your car, you're not driving it anywhere. All right, Michelle, have a great night. Thank you for coming out. Thank you for playing. Thank you, Michelle. Exactly, exactly, Carol. What the hell is going on? This, uh, literally, I'm just being honest with you. Yeah, my arm is hurt looking at that too. How the fuck did this skinny kid do all that? He's a young kid. He's a kid. I'm older. I'm older now. I'm 44 years old. I can look at this kid and go, dude. Hey, you have a you have a penis. I don't know what to tell, what to tell you. You shouldn't have this much energy in your life. I mean, what the fuck is wrong with you? You're gonna dig a hole. I, you know, he got. Like five feet in and went, wouldn't it be cool? And he continued going. I mean, but still, okay, that would be a thought for me, okay? Wouldn't it be cool? That would be a joke that I wrote. Well, you know what I should do and blah, blah, blah. No, that ain't going to fucking happen. It's August. Very tropical. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> uh oh, hold on. Michael Sykes, that's where he goes to watch his you porn and is very motivated. <laughs> I was thinking that shit too. That's where he dug a fucking hole and then watched you porn right in it, right in that fucking hole. Yeah, yeah, okay. You know what? Fuck. That's the best one. Fuck Mike. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's finish watching it. In the car. There's. I'm just about at the top here, but there's still about three feet above our heads. And there's another car, a few feet to the left of here that I've yet to uh, excavate. <laughs> How are you gonna excavate? That sounds like come. He, he needs to come. Even, even everything that he does sounds like coming. You know what I mean? Excavate. I, that I need later on. I'm gonna excavate, motherfucker. Don't excavate near me. All right. I'm just saying. 
He just wanted to get some fresh air away from, <laughs> away from his wife. <laughs> well, then, if that's true, Jace, I actually built this basement. All right. <laughs> I built the basement. There was no basement here. I said, you know what? I'm like Al Bundy. I'm like the black Al Bundy and built my own room and said, fuck it. I'm going to build a spot away from y'all. All of y'all. Oh, my God. That's great, Jace. That is that is great. All right, let's move on. Running out of time here. That's his basement. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes, Dave. Yeah, I didn't even think about it. That's the problem. That's the problem right there. Excavate Gunnings, what? Cunnilingus. <laughs> Excavate equals Cunnilingus. I can't even say it. Oh, fucking Mike. That's a good one. Got two of them. He got the top two. God damn it. Fuck, I can't even compete with y'all. It's my goddamn show. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right. This next one is, uh, let's see, I might want to get to this one before woman gets kicked. Oh, okay, I want to do this one. I want to do this one. Woman got kicked out of a pool because she was, because what they said was she, what, what she was wearing was inappropriate. And, okay, all right, and let me just go ahead and play it. Tori Jenkins got kicked out of a pool for wearing an inappropriate one-piece swimsuit. I'm going to tell you some details about exactly what happened, but first let's take a look at the swimsuit to give you an idea of what she was wearing. I don't see anything wrong with it. I mean, what the fuck? Really? Really? I don't see a damn thing wrong with it. I'm sorry. I don't know if anybody else can, can tell me what's wrong with it. I mean, maybe she turns around and has a huge cock or something. I don't know. I'm just saying, I don't see anything wrong with it. What is wrong with people? I mean, seriously. I mean, look, I, look, look, I, I'm not in shape like the way I want to be in shape. So, so if, if I see somebody else who is in shape, I'm not going to, just because I'm upset with the fact that they look better than me, I, I, that is just inappropriate, okay? Because it's making me think that I shouldn't go eat this McDonald's later and I really want to go eat that McDonald's later and she's making me feel bad. You know what you know what I blame this on? That fucking gym. That gym where you know what I mean where they go, no, no, there's no fucking uh uh judgment here and blah 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 blah. What's on the other side? Maybe I don't know. But I just That's the same what? Well, shut up, Amir. That's provocative. <laughs> I know. No. I, so her fiance, Tyler Newman. I still don't see anything, Carol. I don't see anything. How's that? How is that obscene? Okay. I mean, honestly, she's she's not what I like anyway. Exactly. That's all it was. That's all it was right there. That's all it was. You know what I mean? Like, and like I said, that is what he said. Fat moms were bitching about her. I am sure. That's what I'm saying. I mean, and. I'm not even saying she's sexy. All I'm saying is women and men and men, because honestly, I feel this way. You know what I mean? I would never, I don't have the, the balls to go ahead and say it, to go ahead and see a guy who looks better than me. You know what I mean? Chest all out to here, fucking small waist. What's going on? I mean, I feel that way. I don't want, I'm offended that he's around me. Could you please go over there? I mean, you're, I'm looking good over here. And you're you're ruining it, okay? Now, if they know that you, there's another guy out there that looks like you, they won't look at me anymore. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with people. Carol is confused. <laughs> I'm confused, too. Uh, spoke out about this. They are living at the Smoky Crossing Apartments in Seymour, Tennessee. He took to Facebook. He started saying, quote, today my fiance was faced with either changing her bathing suit, covering up with shorts, or leaving the pool that we pay a $300 fee to maintain. Hell no. $300? $300? Call the cops. Call the cops. I had to go pee. What did I miss? <laughs> Fucking Dave. <laughs> I love Dave. I had to go pee. What did I miss? <laughs> $300. I'm sorry, family. Call the cops. Call the cops. 
Call the cops on me. I paid $300 to go ahead later. Fuck that. You know what? I'm going to give you a reason to call the cops. I'm going to be butt fucking naked. You know, just because if you're going to call the cops, I'm going to give you a reason to go ahead and call the cops. Um, Tory was accused of wearing a thong bathing suit. Th what? This sounds really unreal to me, but he went into detail about exactly what went down. Um, he said that they were asked to leave, and then in the office, the leasing consultant, who for now I will not name, insisted upon letting Tori take her picture to show how inappropriate her bathing suit was, and instructed her to look into a mirror at her own body. Uh, he goes on to say the consultant... No, he did not. Look into the mirror at your own body. This is a dude saying this to her. Are you so was was he sitting there with a rock hard dick going, look what you made me do. This is your fault. OK, what the f I, I'm not supposed to be walking around with a rock hard dick. This is bullshit. We're blaming women. It was a fucking weak ass man. Bullshit. What the fuck is wrong with people? Let, let me let me explain to you guys something. Yeah, it's not even a thong. It's not even a fucking thong. It was a full body bathing suit. His you porn must have been out. <laughs> I need you to go into the mirror, look into the mirror, find a friend, both of you get naked, take pictures of it, and send it back to me. And then I'm going to tell you how inappropriate. <laughs> really? While he was telling her to go home and look in the mirror, you know he got, he, he was turning himself on. That's how fuck, that, you're a freak, okay, you're a freak, okay, even, even I'm not like that, and I'm in a goddamn basement. I mean, what the fuck is wrong with people? Oh, family. Okay, I got a couple more left. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead, and, I wanna go ahead and get through it, just cause I want you guys to see this. Nude golf, nude golf. Nude, nude, totally nude golf. I'm going to go. I'm going to go do it. A golf tournament for nudists. That pretty much sums it up. 30 golfers are playing naked for the Wandering Bears golf event at Humpty Doo Golf Course in Australia. How fucking sexy is he, ladies? Whoo-wee, look at that old man meat. He's got to be naked. Now, what pisses me off about this is... You would think, now in all of our dreams, it's going to be those girls from you porn and blah, 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 blah. No, it's going to be this motherfucker who's going to be out there playing golf fucking naked because he walks around the gym bathroom like this. And he loves it. I mean, so, I mean, oh God, I don't know if you guys have seen this before. Why is it? I mean, I'm only, I'm only 44 and I'm you know, going to be 45 next year, hopefully. <laughs> What year is it where you just go fuck it and you just want people to see your package and you want every, yeah, naked golf, yeah. His you porn muscle, was it? It was hot and sticky to say in his pants. Oh, we're, we're still commenting on the, on the last one, okay. Naked golf, what could possibly go wrong? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Well, the fact that he's that old, he might hit the wrong nuts, Well, you know, Hitting the ball off the tee is what I'm saying. He thought he lost his balls. Turned out he was sitting on them. <laughs> nice. Nude golf. Where every man golfer needs three balls <laughs> at every tee box. <laughs> three balls or an explanation. <laughs> A good one. <laughs> Okay, let's finish watching it. And that's B-A-R-E-S. The 69-year-old organizer of the event says it took months to convince the golf course. Before Hold on. I, I want to see, you see the look on this guy's face, the way that he's putting his teeth together. He is sickened. He is sickened watching this. Watch this. He do golf course in Australia, and that's B-A-R-E-S. The 69-year-old organizer. He is sickened. Do you see him? He is sick. Is this what my life has come to? Yes, you motherfucker. Your life has come to that. That's why you went to fucking college. That's why you studied hard. That's why you worked on your diction. That's why you worked on sitting straight. That's why you put in those fucking fake fucking hair plugs to talk about that ugly fuck 
sitting there naked, happy as hell to be taken a picture of. Yes, that's your life, asshole. Kill yourself. All right, what do we got now? Do your balls hang low? Do they wobble to, to the flow? <laughs> do they wobble to and fro? Oh, nude golf. Okay, it was a... Uh, Missing a lot of holes in one. Oh, my God. Now you got Carol going. I love it. We got Carol going at it. Yes. You know we got some shit going when Carol jumps in on. I love it. Okay, let's see what else. I was Vince says it took months to convince the golf course before coming to terms. The participants have to skip the eighth and ninth holes because those are in full view of the clubhouse. They are already making plans to return next year. And if you have a dream of playing sports nude, but can't afford the plane ticket to Australia, White Thorn Lodge in Pennsylvania has hosted an annual naked volleyball event on the weekend after Labor Day. Since 2009, your dreams could come true very, very soon. Fuck you. Oh, he worked, what he's worked is, is di he's worked on his diction. Way to be, Dave. <laughs> he worked on his diction. All right. <laughs> What's this? Nude golf. Where you have two balls and a shaft and a golf bag full of equipment. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Jace. Oh, my God. Uh, can I get one more in? Fuck it. We're going to go one more. One more and then I'm out. Last one, family. Last one. All right. Stolen shark, and you're going to be blown away how he was stolen. But somebody stole this shark. The shark that was stolen from her tank at the San Antonio Aquarium is now back home. Police have a suspect. God damn. Okay. Damn, she is fine. I'm sorry. She is fine. Fine, 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 fine. Okay, fine. Use a baby stroller to steal the shark, but officials were hot on their tails after a camera caught them in the act. Police say a man snatched the shark on Saturday afternoon. He, another suspect, and a child were then spotted pushing a stroller with the shark inside. Police tracked them down and returned the shark to her home last night. One aquarium worker was relieved. We got her back. Uh, she's healthy. She appears very healthy. Woo! Fine, 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 fine. Okay, fine, good. Um, we didn't know if we would get her back, and so fine. I was devastated when I found out that it happened. Fine. And now that we actually have her here, um, I'm overjoyed. Authorities charged the shark thief and plan to charge two other Aww, people as well. Oh, look at the baby shark. We didn't get to see it. I mean, oh, shark fuck, that I got the wrong one. Damn, I had to go back and see that girl again. I am sorry, family. I'm sorry. I had to go back and look at the girl again. I am sorry. I am sorry. Stop the hammering. Stop the hammering out there. Who's got a hammer? Where is it? I don't know. It's on a different Where's the hammer? It's on a different <laughs> yes, her name was Shank. I was. I saw that too. I saw that too. I was like, I was, I was trying to be good, Mike. I was trying to be good. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck Mike sees what I see quit thinking with your dick <laughs> I'm in a basement what do you expect there's nothing else that, that you know, there's nothing else that's working down here okay my actual brain doesn't work down here ugh Yeah, bro, we got to get you out of that damn basement. <laughs> I agree, Carol. I agree. You know what? I'm going to get out of this basement. I ain't going to be funny anymore because I'm, I'm going to be happy. I'm going to be like, so anyway, this is Clay Time in the basement. Hi, is everybody doing? I'm so happy. And you're going to be like, this fucking sucks. God damn it. I don't like Clay. Happy. Fuck. Talk about how fucked up your life is. Be angry. Shake the screen. What the fuck, Clay? And I'll be like, no, there's no reason to yell, people. Oh, come on. Don't say bad words on my channel. Then, yeah, yeah, that's what's going to happen. I'm going to get famous and I'm going to be unfunny little motherfucker. I hope the punishment for stealing a shark has, was this? has some teeth to it. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Okay, Jace. I love that.
I hope the punishment for stealing a shark has some teeth to it. Oh my God. <laughs> Fucking Jace. All right, let me run through this stuff and then I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Of course, I got to go ahead and give it to my family damaged goods. Please remember to go ahead and check them out. Check out the website. It has all of us there at www.damagedgoodsinc, one word, dot com. Okay, check that out. Hot fuck, Jace. <laughs> well, on that note, stay there. <laughs> Oh, also, check out my site. Like I was telling you guys earlier, I am now on uh, Spotify and iHeartRadio. So there's another place you can check me out if you guys uh, want to listen to me there. This will be up um, on those sites in a couple of hours. This this whole episode will be up. As I said before, there's my stuff. Boom! Check me out, CafePress.com. Forward slash Clay Time in the Basement. If you want to get some Clay Time gear, get the Clay Time gear and the Outlaw merch. Bam! CafePress.com forward slash Stand Up Comic Clay Miles. One word. I gotta also remind you about my show on the 25th. If you want to see me live and let me see me do my shit live, you see me play right on stage. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, you meant to say holy. You meant to say, holy fuck. <laughs> Come check out the show. It's going to be me, my, uh, Xavier Montez, Jillian Wills, Tom Mango. It's going to be a great show. Please check that out. Family, I love you guys. You've been amazing as usual. Carol, thank you. Thank you for putting up with my ignorance. Thank you for the love and thank you for the support. I love you and I am out. If the motherfucker will go to normally right here is where uh, they're supposed to be playing. So now it's time to put out your cigars, walk back in your arms, put those destructive opinions back in your emotional lockboxes, and put your politically correct mask back on. Plausible denial is recommended, and good alibis are suggested. If called upon to testify in a congressional hearing, I don't know you, and you don't know me. If walking these fine lines appeals to you, find him on Twitter at Clay T Basement and Facebook page, the Late Time in Basement Podcast Show. Thanks for listening. Go take a bath. You need to wash this off. Stop the hammering. Stop the hammering out there. Who's got a hammer? Where is it? I don't know. It's on a Where's the hammer? It's on a different is <gasps> I'm live, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm live. I'm live. I'm live.